Welcome to our Purdy presentation. Purdy paintbrushes are made in the United States of America. This is our cover and I'll show you why Purdy is one of the best brushes you'll buy in Australia. It's quite simple, let me show you why. Firstly, every Purdy paintbrush is made with an elderwood handle. As you can notice, it is unvarnished. Why, you should ask? Pretty simple, it absorbs sweat. If you're working outside, working on a hot day, it gives you more control over the brush. Very important about a Purdy paint brush is exactly how it's made and why it's made. A Purdy paint brush is handmade. It is made in the in Portland, Oregon, and is made with Oral Tynex. Oral Tynex is a, is a filament made by the DuPont company, and how the brush is made is quite simple. All the filaments of the paint brush are put in as follows. Now, I just want to show you the construction of one of our paint brushes. Firstly, the longest filaments on the outside, the shortest on the inside. As I said, it is a handmade brush. Being handmade, all the filaments are put together. We have a piece of aluminium in a half moon, and that is epoxy. All the filaments are then left to dry in the epoxy. And if you notice, we have two wedges, and each wedge is on an equal side, which means when we are painting, you can paint this way and that way and get an even brush stroke. Another feature of a Purdy paintbrush is the filaments. All the filaments are actually flagged and tipped. What does that mean? That the filaments are actually broken, that you can get a perfect feather finish while you are painting. Every single filament is actually made to a chisel point. That means when you're painting, you'll get a 100% straight edge. Try this on, an, on some cheap brush and you'll see how it does not work. A further feature is that when the brush is put together, it is nailed and at the same time, the brush cannot leak. When you're painting a ceiling or painting upright, what will happen is the paint will fall into the, into the ferrule and will not leak down the brush. To show you how good our paint brush is in comparison to others, we are proud to show you the inside of our brush and how it works. Let's just show you another brush. As people often say, yeah. just as good as Purdy, forget it. Here is another brush on our market, which we've also cut out, and we want to show you the difference between the filaments. Very, very simple. The filament is not Oral Tynex, it is just a cheap Chinese filament. Secondly, if you notice the way the wedge is put together, it is only just a little bit of epoxy, but it's not done in the same manner, and neither are the filaments all actually embedded equally. You'll also find that we've got a wedge that's not in the center. Therefore, when you're brushing with it going left to right or right to left, all that's happening is you're not getting an even flow. Another feature as well is you'll notice that there's a gap between the ferrule and the bristles. What happens is the paint will run through there and eventually start running down your arm. you also notice that the brush has been varnished. Well, whether you have a varnished brush on a hot day and a sweaty day and your hands are wet, you don't have the equal control of the brush. So that is the difference between a purdy and any other brush. We also have another range of paint brushes, which is the Aviva. The Aviva paint brush is also made with Oral Tynex, also made by Purdy. It's got a purple handle, and the beauty of the brush is very, very similar, except the ferrule is thinner, the filament is of equal quality, and what's more is, once again, it's purple filament, just to identify the color and give it a bit of a different taste that we know what we're talking about. And also, if you actually look at the filament and also look at the tips, the tips are done the same way. They're all flagged and they're also being broken to give you the feather tip rather than being acid uh, tipped like other brushes. The, uh, the brushes come in a whole range of sizes. Um, this is called our Wombat, even though it is made in America, we use Australian names. So we have a Wombat, a Koala and an Emu see the range of brushes in our catalogue or look on our webpage.